okay so basically uh, the term immunity actually means immunization or immunity means the protection against pathogens right generally i am just giving you a very informal definition which is protection against pathogen and so we say that we are immune to that certain pathogen or now our body can not be harmed by that pathogen right so that is immunity and the name of this chapter is also immunity protection against diseases it means now we will dig deeper into what we actually mean by immunity how is our body provided protection against various diseases so on and so forth right now to understand the varieties of immunity we need to understand its basics theek okay? hai what are the basics these are the basics which you can see on the screen immunity can be divided in two ways number 1 it can be divided into active and passive and number 2 it can be divided into natural and artificial ठीक है सबसे पहले देख लेते हैं नेचुरल और आर्टिफिशियल क्या है या फिर एक्टिव और पैसिव क्या दोनों में से कोई एक चीज देख लेते हैं लेट मी फर्स्ट डू एक्टिव एंड पैसिव विद यू ठीक है इसको मैं नेचुरल वाली चीज को यहां से हटा देती हूँ लेट मी जस्ट डू एक्टिव एंड पैसिव विद यू अच्छा वॉट डू मीन बाय एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी इट मीन दैट एनी इम्यूनिटी दैट हैज बीन गिवन टू यू When an antigen enters your body, ठीक है कोई भी एंटीजन आपकी बॉडी में एंटर होता है एंड आफ्टर द एंट्रेंस ऑफ द एंटीजन इन टू योर बॉडी अगर आपकी बॉडी को उस एंटीजन के खिलाफ प्रोटेक्शन मिलती है सो दैट काइंड ऑफ द इम्यूनिटी दैट यू हैव गेन्ड इज द एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी सो वॉट्स द बेस लाइन फॉर द एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी द बेस लाइन इज के एंटीजन एंटर होना चाहिए एंटीजन को जरूर एंटर होना चाहिए दैट्स द बेस लाइन आई रिपीट दिस अगेन एंड अगेन एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी मीन्स दैट द एंटीजन हैज एंटर्ड योर बॉडी सो दैट्स द की फीचर ऑफ एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी ठीक है जब ये हमारी बॉडी का नॉर्मल इट्स अ लॉ और इट्स अ रूल ऑफ द ऑफ आर बॉडी दैट एज सोन एज एन एंटीजन एंटर्स द एंटीबॉडीज आर मेड अगेंस्ट इट ठीक है तो आपको कैसे मिली इम्यूनिटी the antigen entered your body and the antibodies were made in response to it so you develop active immunity acha ab ye jo active immunity hai na ye aapko do tarah se mil sakti hai it can be given to you in two ways and what are those two ways it can be given to you in an artificial way or it can be given to you in a natural way so this means active immunity can be natural or it can be artificial the best way to remember it taki aap bhule nahi because all of you have witnessed the covid 19 pandemic so when the covid virus was sort of declared that it has spread in the world many of the people got infected with covid 19 virus naturally naturally wo virus nature mein tha and it entered their body theek hai virus enter ho gaya antigen entered their body and then the second thing that happened in their body was ki agar jo koi 10 din 15 din jitne bhi din bimar raha finally he got well wo alag baat hai ki you know he died from the complication but finally he got well and he developed antibodies against the covid 19 virus so what kind of an immunity does did he gain he gained active natural immunity active natural immunity second variety a person did not get infected with the covid-19 virus but he did get himself vaccinated for the virus because the vaccine itself had the virus in it although in a very small dose lekin virus to tha right so artificial may be antigen to gaya na antigen went inside antibodies were made so what kind of immunity did we all get as far as the vaccines of covid-19 are concerned we got artificial active immunity right we can understand this very very well from the example of covid-19 because most of us had the uh, this infection covid aur agar kisi rare scenario mein kisi ko covid nahi hua hoga to usko vaccine zarur lagi hui hogi right so is there any problem in understanding active immunity and the two kinds of active immunity नेचुरल एंड आर्टिफिशियल इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम है समझने में
यस परिषे नो अच्छा लेट्स मूव टू पैसिव इम्यूनिटी नाउ व्हाट इज दी हॉलमार्क ऑफ पैसिव इम्यूनिटी वो क्या है इसमें इसका नाम पैसिव है पैसिव मींस इसमें कोई एंटीजन नहीं आता नो एंटीजन एक्सपोजर नो एंटीजन एक्सपोजर हाँ एंटीबॉडीज होती जरूर है इसके अंदर बट लुक एट द डिफरेंस हियर द एंटीबॉडीज वर मेड वर मेड यानी कि आपकी बॉडी ने बनाई हियर द एंटीबॉडीज आर रेडी मेड सो द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन पैसिव एंड एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी इज दैट इन द एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी द एंटीबॉडीज आर मेड इन द बॉडी बाय द बी सेल्स वेर एज इन द पैसिव इम्यूनिटी द एंटीबॉडीज आर रेडी मेड पहले से ही बनी हुई होती हैं हाउ आर दे रेडी मेड नाउ दे कैन बी रेडी मेड इन टू वेज आइदर दे कैन बी नेचुरल रेडी मेड और दे कैन बी आर्टिफिशियल रेडी मेड इफ दे आर नेचुरल रेडी मेड तो दिस मीन्स द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज दैट ऑफ द मेटर्नल एंटीबॉडीज विच कैन क्रॉस द मदर्स प्लेसेंटा इन टू द बेबीज ब्लड और वेन शी इज नर्सिंग हर बेबी द एंटीबॉडीज आर फाउंड इन हर मिल्क and they can pass through the mother's milk into the baby's body so this is kaisi immunity natural mili lekin were any antigens exposed to the baby no did the baby's body make the antibodies no the baby got it ready made from the mother this is a natural way of getting ready made antibodies moving on to artificial passive immunity ye kaisi immunity hai ये वो इम्यूनिटी है कि आप बाजार में जाए एंड यू गेट रेडी मेड एंटीबॉडीज एंड समटाइम्स हम इनको गामा ग्लोबुल भी कहते हैं बिकॉज ग्लोबुल हम यूज करते हैं ना इम्यूनो ग्लोबुल फॉर दी वर्ल्ड फॉर एंटीबॉडी हम कहते हैं कि यू नो ऑल एंटीबॉडीज आर ग्लोबुलर ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन तो ग्लोबुल इज अ नेम फॉर एन एंटीबॉडी ऑल्सो सो दीज एंटीबॉडीज आर परचेज फ्रॉम द मार्केट दे आर अवेलेबल देर एंड यू कैन गेट दैम दे आर रेडी मेड Um, it can be given to any person during an epidem epidemic ya koi pandemic mein bhi bahut logon ne ek dusre ko apna plasma diya tha like plasma of the people who are recovering from covid 19 um, you know people were even selling their plasma so why were they selling their plasma because their plasma had ready made antibody which were given to a person to give him immunity for some time theek hai so if there are any questions please let me know otherwise i'll move on to the details of both kinds of immunity no problem no okay in fact let me just first show you this ha huh? yes the two kinds of immunity active passive ठीक है एक्टिव में इज द एंटीजन इनकाउंटर्ड यस इज देयर एन इम्यून रिस्पांस यस बिकॉज एंटीबॉडीज आर मेड द टाइम बिफोर द एंटीबॉडीज अपीयर इन द ब्लड इट इज वन टू टू वीक्स ड्यूरिंग एन इम्यून रिस्पांस सो वन टू टू वीक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एंटीबॉडीज टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड राइट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मेमरी सेल्स यस What kind of a protection does the active immunity give you? Just like COVID nineteen, me to ye hua tha ke you know the COVID nineteen virus was changing its antigens and that's why the people were getting COVID two times, three times. But if any virus doesn't change its antigens, like a measles virus, so if one time in your body it went away, okay? And you have lost the immune response, then you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. Okay? So you will have to go to the hospital. you will never get a second attack of measles right acha passive immunity did uh, was the ant antigen encountered no was there an immune response no because immune response ke hone ka matlab ke the antibodies are made 
the antibodies are made so in passive immunity antibodies are not made to agar main aapko kehti hu ki ha immune response hua tha iska matlab hai in other words i mean that the antibodies were made so there are no antibodies made in the passive immunity the protection given by passive immunity yani ki kaise yani passive immunity ko milne mein kisi ko kitna time lagta hai when i inject a person with antibodies chahe main artificial antibodies ho ya mother ki antibodies ho the immunity given is immediate immunity foran milti hai immunity right memory cells produced no protection temporary why because as soon as the antibodies are given they are, they are very rapidly destroyed uh, inside the body and you have no more circulating antibodies in the blood so antibodies hamesha ke liye nahi rehti they are destroyed theek hai so this chart actually gives you uh, a better understanding of the active and the passive immunity i am going to you know uh, share the, this this picture with you so you can look at these diagrams and uh, tell me whether there is any problem or not and just give me one minute okay let me show you a very important graph that gives you an idea about the antibodies the concentration of the antibodies in the blood of a fetus and an infant fetal life may be um, antibodies milti hain baby ko through his mother and when he is uh, on his mother's milk then also he gets antibody the baby so on the y axis you can see that there is concentration of the antibody in the blood of the fetus or infant fetus we call it before birth and infant after birth so you can see this is the time theek hai ye time hai after conception which means after fertilization right in months all this time is in months so you can see ke just after fertilization the level of the antibody inside the baby keeps on increasing 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 ye usko mother ki placenta se mil rahi hai badhti jati hai till birth right and after birth the level of the antibody is concentration is reducing theek hai fetus ka to ab zahir hai wo zero ho gaya time after birth dikha diya aapko and then this is the infant antibody this pink color graph is for the infant antibody so you can see ke infant ki jo antibody hai वो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता बढ़ना शुरू होती है विच ही गेट्स फ्रॉम द मदर्स मिल्क एंड यू कैन सी एंड दिस इज द टाइम इन मंथ्स आफ्टर बर्थ तो अगर हम इसको यहाँ पे रखें फॉर एग्जांपल हाउ मेनी मंथ्स इज दिस रफली हाउ मेनी मंथ्स कितना होगा आई थिंक ये सामना आप बताओ यहाँ पे कितने मंथ्स होंगे हाँ नाइन टू टेन मंथ्स होते हैं सो फ्रॉम नाइन टू टेन मंथ्स तक जो है ना the infant who's on the mother's milk has a lot of antibodies in his blood that's why if it is said and it's of course a fact uh, the pediatricians say this that if the baby is exclusively uh, exclusively getting mother's milk and he's not taking bottled milk he gets a wonderful protection through the maternal uh, like the antibodies in the mother's milk right and that's why even vaccinations are not given till 9 months so after 9 months then the baby is at a risk of being attacked by various diseases right so the same thing is written over here and i'm going to read this because is tarah ke questions exam mein aate hain 
colostrum, the thick yellowish fluid produced by our mothers for the first four or five days after birth is very rich in a special kind of an antibody known as IgA. Antibodies ke liye jo symbol use hota hai biology mein that is Ig, right? Ig actually I start uh, stands for immuno and G start stands for globulin. Isko hum kehte hain immunoglobulin. So there are various varieties of immunoglobulins and one of the variety is IgA. ठीक है तो जो मदर के मिल्क में होती है दैट्स आईजीए सम ऑफ दीज एंटीबॉडीज रिमेन ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द इन्फेंट्स गट वॉल व्हाइल अदर्स पास इनटू द ब्लड अनडाइजेस्टेड आईजीए एक्ट्स इन द गट टू प्रिवेंट द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड वायरसेस एंड आल्सो सर्कुलेट्स इन द ब्लड ऑफ द बेबी दिस काइंड ऑफ द इम्यूनिटी इज नोन एज नेचुरल पैसिव इम्यूनिटी so you should be very clear about the differences between number 1 sabse pehle aapko batana chahiye ki natural aur passive mein kya fark hai aur fir aapko pata hona chahiye ki natural passive kya hai natural artificial kya hai artificial passive kya hai aur sorry active mein natural artificial ki varieties and passive mein natural and artificial ki varieties theek hai um Okay, let me give you some more details about active artificial immunity. ठीक है अच्छा अब इससे हमें पता चल रहा है एक्टिव आर्टिफिशियल गिव मी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस परिशे एक्टिव एंड आर्टिफिशियल यस परिशे आमना आमना कैन यू हियर मी यस प्लस हम्म व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय एक्टिव एंड आर्टिफिशियल कोई एग्जांपल दो जो जो मैंने दी थी अभी एग्जांपल बॉडी Just to give you a recap of what the primary immune response was, कि जब हमने B cells और T cells पढ़ा था, तो उसमें हमने ये किया था कि the first time your B cell or T cell encounters an antigen, it starts acting against it. The B cell will act by making antibodies, and the T cells will act by either differentiating into killer T cells or helper T cells. दोनों situations में B cell भी memory cell बनाएगा और T cell भी memory cell बनाएगा. वो memory cell इसलिए बनाएगा कि If a second time the body encounters the antigen, तो आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा कि the B and the T cells will have tackled that particular infection or pathogen. ठीक है? तो जब हम vaccine तैयार करते हैं, तो उसका basic principle ये होता है कि we we are mimicking a primary immune response. In fact, let me just go back and tell you about के जो है वो आपका primary immune response और secondary immune response में क्या differences होते हैं? You should also be very very clear about those differences. ठीक है? Primary immune response थोड़ा सा मैं इसको कर लेती हूँ. Although I've done this with you, whenever your body encounters an antigen for the first time, it triggers an immune response. Slow होता है, थोड़ा time लगता है. One to two weeks लगते हैं उसको develop होने में. लेकिन लेकिन eventually the body makes the antibody जो आपको इस graph से नजर आ रहा है. Body को तकरीबन इतना time लगता है. This is the time in days. So you can see के यहाँ पे first time antigen आपकी body में आया इतने इतने दिन लगे and then the antibodies they they reach their peak and finally they go down लेकिन when you are attacked by the same antigen second time you can see how quickly your body develops immunity तो vaccine का जो principle है वो ये है कि vaccine के अंदर वो ही pathogen है जो कि वो disease करता है and the vaccine is sort of tricking your body in mimicking a primary immune response so that when actually 
یور باڈی ان ریئل ٹائم حقیقت میں جب جو ہے وہی آرگینزم آپ کی باڈی میں آئے گا تو کیونکہ ویکسین ہے پرائمری امیون ریسپانس میں کیا ہوا ہوگا سو ویری کوکلی یور باڈی ول ڈیولپ دا سیکنڈری ریسپانس ایون ود آؤٹ یو نوئنگ دیٹ یو ہیڈ سفر فرام دا ڈیزیز ٹھیک ہے سو ویکسینس ممک دا پرائمری امیون ریسپانس ٹھیک کیسے کرتے ہیں ویکسینس دا ویکسینس کنٹین دا پیتھوجن ہاؤ مینی ڈفرینٹ کائنڈس آف پیتھوجنس کین دے بی کیا بالکل وہی اصلی والا کووڈ نائنٹین وائرس ہوتا ہے یا پھر تھوڑا سا فرق ہوتا ہے سو لیٹ سی اے ویکسین کین کنٹین این اینٹیجن وچ کین بی ڈیڈ بالکل ڈیڈ ہو سکتا ہے لیکن اتنا ڈیڈ نہیں ہوگا کہ بالکل مرا ہوا ہو کہ وہ اینٹی باڈی بنانا ٹریگر ہی نہ کر سکے اٹ ول بی ڈیڈ اٹ ول بی اے لٹل بٹ ان ایکٹیویٹڈ لائک فار ایگزامپل دا ویکسین دیٹ وار میڈ بائی چائنا سائنو فارم سائنو ویک جو بنائی تھی نا چائنا نے ساری ڈیڈ ویکسین بنائی تھی سو اینڈ جنرلی آلسو پیپل دے ڈیڈ سے کہ جو ان کو جن کو چائنا والی ویکسین لگی ہے اس سے اتنا زیادہ ان کو سمٹمس یا سائڈ ایفیکٹس نہیں ہوئے تھے بیکاز اٹ واز ڈیڈ واز ان ایکٹیویٹڈ اٹ ہیڈ دی اینٹیجن اینڈ دی اینٹیجن واز کیپیبل آف ٹریگرنگ اے پرائمری امیون ریسپانس رائٹ بٹ اٹ واز ناٹ اے لائیو اینٹیجن سو ون از دس ورائٹی سیکنڈ ورائٹی اٹ کین بی اے لائیو اینٹیجن بٹ لائیو کے ساتھ ایٹینیویٹڈ بھی ہے ایٹینیویٹڈ کو اگر آپ گوگل کرو گے تو آپ کو اس کا میننگ پتا چلے گا کہ ٹو ریڈیوز دی انٹینسٹی ٹو ریڈیوز دا سیویرٹی تو کیا کیا ہے بایولوجسٹ نے دے ہیو میڈ اے لائیو ویکسین بٹ دیو ٹرائی ٹو ایٹینیویٹ اٹ ٹو ریڈیوز اٹ سیویرٹی ہاؤ ڈڈ دے ایٹینیویٹ اٹ سو دیٹ دا ویکسینس اور دی اینٹیجنس پیتھوجنیسٹی از ریڈیوزڈ بٹ دا اینٹی جنیسٹی از مینٹین اور ریٹین کیا مطلب ہے اس بات کا کہ میں ویکسین ایسے بنا رہا ہوں یا بنا رہی ہوں کہ اس کا جو اینٹیجن ہے وہ اتنا خطرناک نہیں ہے کہ اٹ کازز یو ڈیزیز بٹ اٹ از کیپیبل آف ریٹیننگ اٹس کیپیبلٹی آف پروڈیوسنگ اینٹی باڈیز اینڈ ریٹیننگ دا کیپیبلٹی آف پروڈیوسنگ اینٹی باڈیز مینس ریٹیننگ اینٹی جینیسٹی ٹھیک ہے سو دس از ہاؤ اٹ از اینڈ so one variety is making a completely dead inactivated vaccine another variety is to make a vaccine which has the live attenuated antigen is the example hai polio the polio ke drops katre milte hain especially pakistan and india that is the live attenuated vaccine covid 19 vaccine bhi uh, jo hai wo dead bhi thi live bhi thi um west mein Europe mein jo polio ki vaccines milti milti hain ya milti thi they are they are not uh, they don't contain the live virus they contain the dead injectable polio vaccine theek hai usually jo aapki live vaccines hoti hain na they are given orally just like the polio virus a third variety of the vaccine is the one in which what do we do we take the antigen and we render the antigen uh, we rend- we treat it in such a manner that we make it less pathogenic how there are some uh, bacteria kuch aise bacteria hain aur sabse uska important example jo hai achhi wo hai tetanus bacterium theek hai clostridium tetanum uska naam hai jo tetanus karta hai that bacterium produces a toxin wo ek toxin produce karta hai to hum kya karte hain we treat the toxin with formaldehyde with a compound known as formaldehyde and when we treat this toxin with formaldehyde we are rendering it less active to ab kya hoga humne kya kiya hai let let me go to another page because is big questions aate hain aaj kal the latest past papers mein iske sawal aate hain ke there are some bacteria okay detail about toxoid there are some bacteria which make toxins toxins are treated with chemicals like formaldehyde
thereby converting them to toxoid. And now what do we call? Now we call these vaccines as toxoids. So then we will give this example. Tetanus toxoid. Achha, this is a very very important example girls. You have to listen to it very well because you will not get it in textbook. But it comes to the questions. Usually when we fall on the road, you all say that you have to put it in the tetanus ka injection or the tetanus. So you have to remember two things. Right? When you fall, I am just giving you a scenario. And this scenario is important for you to remember because you get such kind of questions in exams. The scenario is you fall on the road. The doctor advises you tetanus vaccine. Now when the doctor is giving you this advice, he will never advise you to get yourself tetanus toxoid. The reason is कि जो आपका टेटनस टॉक्सोइड है ना वो एक एंटीजन है और वो आपको एक्टिव आर्टिफिशियल इम्यूनिटी दे रहा है कौन सी दे रहा है एक्टिव आर्टिफिशियल तो इफ यू रिमेंबर कि एक्टिव आर्टिफिशियल हो या नेचुरल आर्टिफिशियल हो उसमें वन टू टू वीक्स लगते हैं एंटीबॉडीज या इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स को डिवेलप होने में ठीक है तो क्योंकि इसमें टाइम लगता है एंड यू वॉन्ट अ रैपिड इम्यूनिटी सो वेन द डॉक्टर टेल्स यू की जाके आप टेटनस की वैक्सीन लगाए तो उस वक्त आपको टॉक्सॉइड नहीं लगता उस वक्त आपको कौन सी वैक्सीन लगती है यू गेट योर सेल्फ आर्टिफिशियल पैसिव इम्यूनिटी नॉट एक्टिव पैसिव इसका मतलब आपको आर्टिफिशियल रेडी मेड एंटीबॉडीज मिलती हैं टेटनस के खिलाफ एंड द नेम ऑफ दैट वैक्सीन इज नॉट अ टेटनस वैक्सीन इसका नाम है एंटी टेटनस सीरम इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कॉल इट ए टी एस जब आपको चोट लगती है राइट सिनेरियो नंबर टू सिनेरियो नंबर टू है तो सवाल होता है कि टेटनस टॉक्सॉइड फिर कब लगता है एट बर्थ एंड एट आई थिंक सिक्स वीक्स टेन वीक्स ऑफ लाइफ You're not supposed to remember के कितने कितने weeks of life पे and maybe you know boosters at one year, five year या ten years of life पे ये उस वक्त आपको लगता है. So you get a tetanus vaccine and now this vaccine is not artificial passive. This is artificial active. You get a tetanus vaccine which is artificial active. Active का मतलब रेडीमेड एंटीबॉडीज नहीं है एक्टिव का मतलब आपकी बॉडी इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स जेनरेट करेगी एक्टिव का मतलब कि आपकी बॉडी एंटीबॉडी बनाएगी और एक्टिव का मतलब कि आपकी बॉडी को टाइम लगेगा सो so, इसमें आपके पास टाइम ही टाइम है इस सेकंड सिनेरियो में यू नॉट इन हरी सो दैट्स वाई दी इज गिवन टेटनस टॉक्सॉइड instead of anti tetanus serum a t s g girls i want you to speak up and let me know whether this thing has been understood by you or not yes ji yes. beta i miss if a child is given the uh, tetanus toxoid vaccine uh, and once a child grows up and case one happens to the child miss uh, is the child given the ats again Yes, yes. ATS is all the time given whenever you fall down. This is what I was telling you. ATS has got no relationship with toxoids because you see, even if you get toxoid, na, so toxoid means what? Toxoid is artificial active immunity. Your body will generate an immune response, right? And maybe with the passage of time, uh, you know, the antibodies, the the level of the antibodies or the concentration of the antibodies, it it decreases. It wanes off. और हो सकता है कि मेमोरी सेल्स भी ना हो मेमोरी सेल्स कुछ कुछ मेमोरी सेल्स तो दे कैन लिव फॉर लेकिन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी के 
میموری سیلس بھی ختم ہو گئے ہوں رائٹ تو دس مینس دیٹ یو ول نیڈ اے بوسٹر ہے نا لیکن اب جب آپ کو چوٹ لگی ہے تو چوٹ لگنے میں یو کان یو کان بی گیون اٹاکسائڈ بوسٹر چوٹ لگنے پہ یو ہیو ٹو بی گیون سم تھنگ وچ گیوز یو کوئک امیجیٹ امیونٹی سو کوئک امیجیٹ امیونٹی ول بی اونلی اینٹی ٹیٹنس سیرم ٹھیک ہے ٹاپک many people are anti vax many people say ke vaccines to milni hi nahi chahiye in the first place uh, for example covid ke zamane mein bhi you know there was so much debate and discussion on the fact ki kisi ne kaha ke jab vaccine lagane ke bawajood bhi covid ho raha hai ho raha tha na aise so what's the use of giving a vaccine so this debate will go on forever theek hai of course you are right 100% that nobody can say ke if any baby has been given a tetanus toxoid to uske andar hamesha hamesha ke liye immunity rahegi ye to koi aapko guarantee nahi de sakta right to it's totally up to the person nobody is uh, i think in the west maybe in some countries i don't know whether in the european countries ya kahan pe america mein to you know vaccinations bachcho mein especially school going children mein aur usse bhi pehle they are mandatory in our country they are not mandatory so yes it's upon the person's wish and the parents wish whether they want their children to get vaccinated or not but then they have to bear the uh, risk of this theek hai वैसे ये होता है कि ना जनरली टेटनेस हैपेंस इन कंटेमिनेटेड एनवायरमेंट्स यूजुअली सो लो सोशल इकोनॉमिक क्लास में या फिर जो है वो कंटेमिनेटेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट से होता है बहुत गंदगी हो हॉस्पिटल्स बहुत अनक्लीन हो और यू नो द प्रॉपर सैनिटेशन और सैनिटरी मेजर्स आर नॉट टेकन उस सिचुएशन में होता है आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिशियन एक्चुअली आई एम अ चिल्ड्रंस डॉक्टर सो आई हैव seen and treated tetanus cases myself so many times and what i know I, and i used to work in a public hospital in civil hospital karachi so i saw that tetanus zyadatar unhi babies ko hota tha jinke ghar pe deliveries hoti thi and you know not proper hygienic measures were taken instruments sterilized nahi the aur bahut sari cheeze to tetanus hota tha so you know looking at that from that perspective so i would say ke you know this particular class of people should be vaccinated ho sakta hai hamare case pe hum keh sake ki theek hai you know hamare babies ko na tetanus ke toxoid diya jaye aur jab koi chot lage ya koi aisa scenario ho to ats diya jaye to then that is a you know decision which is based upon the reality of the situation to aap keh sakte hain ki ha aapki reality mein shayad toxoid itna important nahi hai lekin kisi aur ki reality mein wo zyada important hai theek hai samajh aa rahi hai baat Yes, yes. Right? So, yes, of course, it varies from person to person. Even I am not so fond of vaccines at all. Uh, in fact, um, you know, it was, it was mandatory uh, that uh, vaccines uh, have to take care of especially all those who are doing a job, you know. Every side of the way, you have to take a vaccine, but then we can see and we have seen that many people did not take vaccines and they were perfectly all right. And there were many people who took vaccines like for example i can say for myself i got myself vaccinated and then i developed covid after that so you never know some people say ke acha vaccine achhi cheez hai kam se kam aapko ek dafa exposure mil jata hai covid 19 se to uske baad agar aapko infection ho to aapko utna severe nahi hota your body actually behaves as if ke koi secondary immune response hua so you know this debate goes on and on and on i i still remember many of my students my bio students in the school mein main jinko padhati hu to they had actually written unko kuch projects milte hai na to research papers unhone likhe iske upar ke are vaccines ethical should should vaccines be man- mandatory aur bahut saari is pe humne jo hai wo debate discussion ki thi right okay and uh, parishe uh, parishe is so silent i don't know whether you are understanding or not parishe i am you are okay good so all this discussion has been mentioned on this page jo aapka hai na active passive immunity isme sari choti choti definitions hain so you can go through it and you will realize ke i have covered all of this so i am not going to uh, you know 
वेस्ट एनी फर्दर टाइम इन गोइंग थ्रू दिस ये भी हमने कर लिया एंड वॉट एल्स अच्छा वैक्सीन ठीक हर्ड इम्यूनिटी और ये सब ओके आई वुड लाइक यू टू रीड दिस पैराग्राफ इसको अच्छे से आप पढ़ लें ये डिस्कशन बेस्ड ही है इस पर तो हम डिस्कशन करते हैं क्लास में कितने हैं पेजेस इज देर टू पेजेस दिस इज पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन एंड पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी ठीक है टेक फाइव टू सिक्स और मे बी इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर मिनट्स इसको आप रीड करो एंड देन वेन यूर डन प्लीज लेट मी नो वरना मैं ऐसी बैठी रहती हूँ इंतजार में सो दैट आ